Hello everyone, my name is Alana from the Bradford Library and I'm here to share some reading recommendations with you. You'll also get a recommendation from Raylan Obrembro, our library's CEO and Chief Librarian. Today I'm recommending the book Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Frederick Bachman is also the author of the widely popular book A Man Called Uva, which is also turned into a movie. This book is about a bank robbery gone wrong, which turned into a hostage situation at a nearby apartment building, and the subsequent investigation into the events. The story takes place in a medium-sized town in Sweden and focuses on the lives and testimonies of the eight hostages and the missing would-be bank robber. Turns out the hostages, who include the real estate agent, two married couples, a bank director, an elderly woman, and a mysterious young man who are all connected to a set of events that happened 10 years prior near the same apartment. Most of them are connected to this series of events. Each of them carries a lifetime of grievances, hurts, secrets, and passions that are all anxiously waiting to be boiled over. Also involved are two police officers who are investigating the case, who are a father and son team, and who also have a special relationship with the events that happened 10 years prior. It's thought-provoking, funny, heartwarming. If you've liked books like um, The Hundred-Year-Old Man Who Climbed Out of a Window and Disappeared, or Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine, or Nine Perfect Strangers, you like this one. So give it a try and check it out today. So my second recommendation today is The World's Dumbest Criminals. It is a nonfiction book that we have at the library. It is basically what it sounds like. It's just various stories of uh, criminals around the world doing stupid things and failing at being criminals. So it's funny, it's lighthearted, um, true. Um, so if you are interested in um, anxious people, you like this one as well. Hi, my name is Raylinda Rumboro, and I'm the CEO Chief Librarian at the Brantford Public Library. And I'm going to talk to you about a book called Good Omens. It's by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman, and it was written in 1990. So I'm a fan of the late Terry Pratchett and I'm really grateful that he was such a prolific author and I've also enjoyed a number of Neil Gaiman's works and he's a proponent of libraries so yay for him uh, and I guess how often is it that you can have two authors that you like writing a book together so that's why I picked up Good Omens and I'm really glad that I did. It's a fantasy book, but I would call it like an accessible fantasy book. So you don't have to be a hardcore fantasy fan to really enjoy the book. And I feel like a lot of Terry Pratchett's books are like that as well. They're just interesting characters and fun stories and they just happen to be about like werewolves and fairies and wizards and things like that. But it's not a deep dive into the fantasy world. So about the book, uh, Good Omens, uh, in this book we have a book of prophecies that are actually accurate and they're foretelling the end of the world, the apocalypse. Um, so then we have the Antichrist, which is an 11 year old boy, and we have the forces of good and evil gearing up to battle, uh, but within that we have a particular angel and a particular demon who've sort of formed a friendship over thousands of years uh, and have decided that they quite like uh, Earth and humankind and they're going to do what they can to thwart the coming apocalypse. We also have uh, a witch and a witch finder and the witch finder does find the witch um, and uh, it's really just lots of fun. So it is uh, not dark or heavy um, and it's not meant to be taken seriously in any way. It's a work of comedy 
I will say there were a couple of ethnic references uh, that really didn't hold up over time. As I mentioned, it was written in 1990. Um, they did make me cringe a little bit. Uh, but I understand that the book has been recently made into a, a television series as well. Uh, and I do understand that they've updated it to make improvements in that respect. So I am looking forward to watching the, the series now that I've done the book. And overall, I would say, you know, it's wacky and amusing and it's fast moving and the characters are ridiculous yet somehow relatable uh, and it's really just a great diversion from real life at the moment I would say.